All right, well, it's electric and it's the newest attraction to hit the new Route 66 in Granite City. Corey Jove is the president and CEO of Great Rivers and Routes Tourism Bureau of Southwest Illinois. He's with us this morning with more on what you can expect. Good morning to you. Well, good morning. Thanks yeah, for having absolutely. me. Absolutely. This is exciting. Tell us a little bit more about this new park. Well, this is we're opening tonight. Uh -huh. uh, it's a it's a vacant lot that was in downtown Granite City in the district. And what we've done is we've brought uh, to life some ghost neon signs mm -hmm. that used to dot the downtown in the 50s, 60s and 70s that people have forgotten about and now they're back and we worked with a sign company in Springfield Illinois a fourth generation family owned sign company to bring these signs back and we have uh, re re we've rebirthed the Washington Marquee <laughs> the Reese drugstore and also the um, uh, the local uh, jewelry shop. Okay. And so these are just the start, but we also partnered with St. Louis Sign and Mural Company mm -hmm. here in St. Louis to paint these life-size murals that bookend the block. Uh, there's EV charging stations. Uh, there's a replica of the Chain of Rocks Bridge, oh, which wow. is an iconic yeah. stop on Route 66. So it's going to be a lot of exciting things to see and do. Yeah, absolutely. How's this being funded? Well, this is a partnership uh, with the state of Illinois through Great Rivers and Routes mm -hmm. Tourism Bureau. The state of Illinois over the last, uh, including this coming year, will have spent $20 million on projects uh, that will fund new sites, attractions, small businesses, experiences on Route 66 as we lead up to the 100th anniversary of the road, mm -hmm. the Mother Road in 2026. So it's a very exciting. Yeah. This, was, uh, uh, this was a half a million dollar grant. Uh, the Hudson Jewelers sign, as you can see, the Reese and the Washington. Uh, they ju it's, just a, it's just something you need to get visitors to stop and visit and we hope will shop in the downtown district and support small businesses yeah. while in town. So how did those, you mentioned Hudson Jewelers, like how, how did John Hudson react to what, them, you doing this? Was everyone on board saying yes? Oh, everybody's been yeah. on board. And you know, this has been a project that has been going on for seven months. So as work has continued on the block, we've had a lot of uh, people stop by, a lot mm -hmm. of curious minds. But tonight we finally light it up. And from 7 to 9 p.m. in downtown Granite mm -hmm. City, we'll have a live music, uh, food trucks, a car show, uh, we'll flip the switch at about 8.15 and the neon signs will light and we're really excited to bring this project uh, to Southwest Illinois. Everyone invited? Everyone's invited. Okay. We want a big street party. Put your t-shirt and shorts on and come out and join <laughs> us. Might be a little warm, yes. but we're going to have a lot of fun. Is this rain or shine? Rain or shine. All right, so come on out. I think it's very exciting uh, for Granite City. Well, it is. And you know, Granite City has really embraced Route 66 over the past year. They're seeing an increase in visitors. Um, I think it's going to be great for their small business mm -hmm. community. More businesses are opening. And so check it out. Come visit us. Absolutely. Corey Job, thank you so much. It's Appreciate great to you see you again. Absolutely. Thank you.